Hello everybody, this is Joachim and this is the board of my Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. Okay, this is uh, the match one, wherefore I opened it. What have we done? Uh, we connected uh, the output lines to the XLR input line with enabled uh, phantom power 48 volts and it dematched. Now when you connect it to the computer you can see the green LED lightened with devices of course not directed at the moment. The green light uh, LED is lightened. Also the input lines, the green LED lines are also lightened uh, without any signal in or out. Okay, so I try to explain here uh, the board and where you can uh, find the devices and what they are doing. So first you should, uh, okay, I change it. Uh, I made this sheet with the number of the chip devices. First you can see the operational amplifier NGM4565 and the NGM operational amplifier 2122. The analog switch devices HC4066, Sirich Logic 24-bit audio controller CS4272 and the USB controller USB3343 and uh, from Interseal SIL97519A DC step up controller. Uh, two controllers are fixed on a board. Okay, first I show you the power. I zoom it a little bit in, just a moment please. Okay, so you know the USB connector, the 5 volt from the USB connector is wired to this capicator here, uh, the 5 volts. From here the 5 volts aligned to the DC step-up controller, which is the first one, and this is the second one. So with uh, DC step-up controller here, uh, 7519, is only used for the phantom power. Here is a referent point, uh, a checkpoint for the 48 uh, voltage, if enabled. And this USB controller works with the coil and this uh, felt effect transistor here and the uh, capicator here. This makes the 48 volt. You can refer it to the, no, you should um, download first all of the chips they are used, that are used uh, the PDF files from the uh, manufacturers. So you can uh, see what the chips are, are doing and how they works. Okay. Uh, Pin 4 on the DC controller is the ground signal. Pin 6 of the DC controller is the 5 volt power input here from this capicator and pin 5 is the output. Pin 3, I think so, is the enable pin to enable this device. So that all day is working. You have not only to connect the USB connector, you have also to install the device driver and when the device is uh, connected to your personal computer and the device driver is enabled so that the green LED of uh, the focus right is lightened, then the main uh, processor here sends the enabled signal to the controllers and now you can uh, measure the voltage. Okay, with voltage I explained both together the controller with a felt effect transistor uh, is needed to make higher voltage than 12 volt. You see the PDF file. With here, with one, here is important. Just a moment, please. Okay, this controller, uh, when enabled, gives on pin 5 the 5 volt positive DC. With the different coils here and a lot of capicators, it is not only the positive voltage made, but also the negative voltage is made. 
assigned the capicators with the black dot here. The black dot marks the ground line. This ground is also the USB and main capicator ground and also the ground of the amplifiers and everything else. You can find uh, the black marks here on these capicators too. At the other connector of the capicators, this is a positive voltage, 5 volts. And on these capicators here, you can see at the right side the negative voltage, minus 5 volt. This voltage is used for all, need to turn the board, for all the operational amplifiers, not to only with, but all the operational amplifiers. Uh, we are driven by minus 5 volt and plus 5 volt and uh, as middle the ground. The analog switches are HC4066. These are CMOS uh, logic ICs. So they use as maximum power uh, 12 volts. So the 10 volt difference uh, from minus 5 to plus 5 is also used uh, to give power the, to the digital analog switches. The main processor, the USB controller and uh, the audio controller from Cirrus Logic uses 3.3 uh, voltage uh, for, to be driven. Okay, what did I next? When the power is generated and everything is enabled, I measured all the power lines on the chips. I measured also the analog output of the operational amplifiers and couldn't find uh, any problem. The analog, uh, no, now I sent a signal via software to the focus right to give it out on the output lines in a normal driven mode. So with the oscilloscope I try to find the signals. The main controller should convert via the Cirrus Logic controller the digital data to analog values on lines. So the controller here has from pin 15 to 19, I think so, and 27 to 23, the input and output analog lines. But there couldn't be found any signal also on the analog switches and the operational amplifiers input or output lines uh, where are no audio signal to find. So at this moment I don't know uh, what should be repaired and I don't also understand what happened. Uh, when I connected the output lines to the input lines with phantom power, the phantom power is generated over to uh, 6.8 kilo ohm uh, resistors. So there is no real uh, shortcut between I don't know, uh, because of uh, resistors. It uh, ends only in one milliamp, uh, milli milliamps, uh, and there's no uh, really hard uh, short circuit. So what can be dematched? The only thing is when you connect it on the input pins, no, uh, no, uh, the input pins, of the XLR connector has over the 6.8 kilo ohm resistors the voltage. What happened also, the phantom voltage will now be led to the output lines and uh, they are connected to the output of the operational amplifiers. So what I think is only uh, that the operational amplifier can now lead with high voltage, 48 volt, through the output, uh, through the inner transistors of the, of the operational amplifier, uh, to the uh, positive or negative voltage of operational lines. So that the whole circuit gets a very tiny pulse of high voltage uh, to the power lines. 
perhaps the audio controller or the main controller has a problem. Uh, the connection via USB controller with the main controller is still on possible because the driver works and communicates with the interface. Uh, so it is really uh, difficult to find without the schematic uh, what uh, part here is dematched. Okay, I stop this here and uh, hope this help you a little bit to find out what's going on here.